Hi, I'm Kurt Broderson, the Technology Coordinator at Ilse Public Library. Welcome to the Digital Media Lab. This tutorial will teach you how to scan photos and slides with our scanner and the software called My Image Garden. First we'll get the scanner started, and then I'll show you how to use the computer side of things. First make sure the scanner is plugged in, and then turn it on. Open the top tray, and you can place your first photos on the glass, being careful not to leave fingerprints. Close the tray. Go to the Go menu, Applications, and then find the Canon Utilities folder. Double click on My Image Garden, and double click on My Image Garden. We'll change the settings first. For photo scan, there's no reason not to increase the resolution to the highest setting so we get the best quality pictures. We can change the file format. I'll select TIFF for today, but there are other choices. You'll see there are some other settings we can control, which for right now are OK. And click on OK to change the set, close the settings window. Make sure Scan is selected. And then at the top we have several choices. Since we're scanning a photo, click on that button, and the scanner goes to work. This is happening in real time, so it's fairly quick to do two photographs. There they are. Now to do slides, we'll want to remove the photos, and we also need to remove this white reflective surface. It just clicks out at the top, pull the bottom loose, and set that aside for a moment, and insert the slide adapter tray. There are two slots on either end for it to fit into. Insert your slides. It's not critical whether they're upside down or backwards right now because we can fix that later. and close the lid of the scanner. So we'll switch to custom because we're doing slides now. And click there. Take a moment for the scanner to warm up again. And I've sped this up slightly, but it takes about 30 seconds per slide, so there are four on the tray. It takes about two minutes to scan and process these four slides. Once they're done, they'll appear in the window, and now it's time to save them. If we select all the photos we've scanned, we can go down to Save, and we'll Select TIFF is what I wanted for this project. And browse to the desktop. And then create a new folder. I'll just call it My Pictures. You'll notice that it appears here on the desktop. Click on Open. Click on Save. And they've been saved into my new folder. If we go over there to double click and open it, you'll see all of them arranged in order. If I open them, you'll see the quality is quite high. Two photos and then a number of slides back from my father's collection in the 50s. I noticed that one was backwards, the text was mirror image, so we can go to fix this here. We go to Tools and we'll flip it horizontal. And now if you look closely, you can notice the text on the memorial is proper now. We can quit that. Close the folders. And I'm going to drag my pictures to my thumb drive to make sure I take them home with me. And then make sure you, uh, you well, we can delete them here so that they're no longer on the computer because we've got them on our thumb drive and you can quit My Image Garden. 
and then I will remove my thumb drive by dragging it to the trash which now becomes an eject button and that safely removes it. Don't forget to remove the slides from the tray. And then remove the slide adapter tray. Set that back in the box. And we'll put the reflective cover back in. There are two slots to fit into on the bottom. And then slide up to the top and you can click it back in place. Close the scanner lid and you're all set. Enjoy your photos.